This movie opened with a staggering $155 million at the box office, the highest domestic opening for a movie that isn't a sequel. And in my opinion, this movie is going to be one of Hollywood's biggest franchises. Stay tuned as we check out The Hunger Games, your real review for this week. We could do it, you know, take off, live in the woods. They'd catch us. Well, maybe not. We wouldn't make it five miles. <laughs> Every year in the ruins of what was once North America, the capital forces each of its 12 districts to send a teenage boy and girl to compete in the Hunger Games. A twisted punishment for a past uprising, the Hunger Games are a nationally televised event in which the 24 tributes, otherwise known as the teenagers, must fight to the death until there is only one survivor. Let the 74th Hunger Games begin. The time has come to select one courageous young man and woman for the honor of representing District 12 in the 74th Annual Hunger Games. It's your first year, Prim. Your name's only been in there once. They're not gonna pick you. The movie was great. It's very close to the book. And the action scenes were amazing. <laughs> the 12 districts of Pan Am shall offer up in tribute one young man and woman between the ages of 12 and 18 to be trained in the art of survival and to be prepared to fight to the death. Action scenes were really amazing, and um, there, it's very similar to the books. But there's a couple parts that weren't very similar. So it was some di sometimes disappointing because they didn't really follow the book. But it was really good. Based on one of my favorite novels, The Hunger Games will leave you hungry for a sequel. It's superbly acted and captures the dramatic violence and raw emotion of the book, all while staying very true to the novel. Remember, The Hunger Games will change everyone, and this movie will get your pulse racing. At the Gaxa Cinema in Barrie, for your real review, I'm Joanne Bluen.